Working with stranded colour work can be a little bit intimidating. So I find that, particularly if you're new for it, that learning a two-handed colour work holding method is probably the easiest. What you want to do with that is your um, background colour you're going to hold in your right hand. So usually I'll just tension it and hold it the way I normally would because I hold, I'm a right-handed knitter under normal circumstances. And let me grab the second color, which is the one we want as the um, dominant or um, I'm terrible at tensioning my left hand because I don't do it very often. But that's going to be the dominant or the more kind of the pattern, the one that's going to stand out. Reason for that is because this is down lower, when you knit a stitch with that, it uses um, slightly less yarn. It doesn't have to travel as far whereas this one is going to be pulled a bit tighter and pulled to the background because it's going to come from um, up higher so it travels further. So all we're going to do with this is when you're going to go knit with this color, you'll work like this and then you go and pick through when you're working with the other color. As I'm saying, if you're used to knitting with one hand or the other, it can become a little bit tricky to learn how to hold it with the other hand, particularly tensioning is the problem. But I would suggest persevering with color work because it allows you to hold one color over on one side and the other on the other so they never get crossed over. So the other thing that you want to watch when you're doing color work is what happens behind things and making sure they don't get puckered. So if I want to introduce this color, you can see there's been a couple of stitches worked with the other one. And if I go knit it and pull it tightly, what will happen is it will pucker all those stitches in together. So what you want to do is go as if you're going to knit, but then just kind of stretch it out so that those stitches can lie flat. And if in doubt, leave this a little bit looser. You're better with it a little bit looser than a little bit tighter because you can kind of tweak it and pull some of the excess out behind and things like that. Whereas if it's too tight, there's really nothing you can do. So that is one thing that takes a long time to, to master is pulling this across and then while you're doing that giving a little bit of a stretch so that you are allowing those stitches and the strand behind to lie just right and that is something that takes a little bit to learn because you want it so you don't want it so loose that you've got huge big loops coming out of yarn of yarn hanging out but you don't want it so tight that it's pulling it in we go back to this one and so you'd be working through a color work chart usually which will tell you which one that you're working with and then usually it'll be that chart repeated all the way around um, one other thing that I'm not showing you here that I can show you in the next video is how you will trap floats behind so where I'm just doing a couple of stitches here and it just stranded across if you've got quite a bit you may want to trap this float so that it doesn't get caught so that's for the next video